Blending modes can be a great way to solve the problem of removing backgrounds or other issues in Adobe Premiere. So if you have a clip on your layer and you go to the effect controls panel, under the opacity section, you should always be able to see blending mode options. These are very useful tools to blend one layer into the other. And you can use it to problem solve by setting a layer on darkening or lightening modes. So in this case, if we have a black arrow on a white background and we want to remove the white background easily and automatically and cleanly, we can simply set this to darken or multiply. Both will work. What this is doing, it's telling Premiere to only show through the parts of this layer that are darker than the other layer. And so in this case, black is the darkest color value we have, and we can instantly remove the background in that way. Now, if you want to do this with white, the same idea. If I have a white arrow, I can simply just do the other way. Lighten, even screen works, because these are both just showing through the parts that are lighter and not darker. And this works because we have a complete black and white contrast. Now, what if we have a slightly different colors or gradients like this red arrow? In this case, if you use darken, uh, the red actually is not darker than every single portion of the clip underneath. So you get this interesting effect that's not fully transparent, even multiply the same thing. But what you can do in these cases is try a different method. So rather than using blending modes, you can open the video effects folder and try something in the keying folder. So in this case, still, we have a white background. So perhaps just using a Luma key will work. Instead of using blending values, we can simply use brightness values and that works as well. And then just for this little extra bit at the bottom, uh, we can either mask or crop it out. So I can just mask out the parts that I want or I can go to the crop effect in the transform video effects folder and I can just crop the bottom up a slight bit. But we still get the same uh, removal of the background so we can use this item. But a lot of times, especially when you're working with black and white, multiply, lighten, screen, darken, these will quickly and instantly be able to solve your problems. And then you can learn more about different blending modes because there's a lot of cool ways that you can use them to problem solve. So they all work based on math. And once you learn that, you can problem solve with them. If you want to check out more tutorials on either keying and background removal or green screen or how blending modes work and explanation of all of them, you can check out videos like that for free on my channel in the playlist. Just search those keywords and subscribe to stay tuned for all my future videos. My name is Justin Odisho. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.